It's crazy how the 4th of July commemorates war, right? Because that's why they have fireworks, because they have bombs, um, the bombs bursting in air. But then on the 4th of July, veterans, I can't imagine um, the ones with, with serious PTSD all know it's coming. Because it's weird how after this 4th of July, I'll always know the 4th of July is coming um, from a you're going to get sick perspective. It's, it's one thing to hear a pop, you know, like um, when you're walking by a house and someone with a nail gun hits it real hard or, and you're like, whoa, um, and then it kind of bothers your PTSD. Um, but it's another thing to hear constant pop, 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 pop. And it's like, it's like you're, you have to get away. Um, that's why I think I'm an OG, even though I'm, let's face it, I'm pretty young G. Um, I get sick like the OGs. All right. Um, real OGs have had enough bullets pop that they get scared, that it hits them. And, um, they, they've had enough fear because they're high enough up. And, um, that's why it's like, dude, I don't think it's a weak person thing. Like, I don't think it's, a, I don't think it says that I'm a weak person or a scared person that I think I need. Uh, I know I need an armored car. It's not a maybe. It's a, it's a, I know. I mean, pretty much all our people have armored cars. So I don't really know if that's true. All right. The FBI, they call me. I've been reporting crimes to them by Twitter. All, almost all of them about Bakersfield. Bakersfield taught me how to make bombs. I don't know how I make bombs. Wait, Bakersfield taught me. This is the one thing this guy's gonna know out of everything I've said on the internet is, I know how to make bombs, FBI. The only reason I know is because I was taught by people from Bakersfield. And do I know how to make them? No. Like really, like maybe I could figure it out, but no. I've never made them because I never made them back when I was nine, so of course I don't know how to make it. Um, all right, so this guy calls. I ask him about Bakersfield, he goes, uh, uh, Bakersfield, is that in California? Yes, you're lying to me, and if you had actually had a good psychological profiler looking at, looking at me and trying to figure out who I am, they would know, number one rule about John Alexander is don't lie to him, because John Alexander doesn't lie. So if you are constantly lying to this guy, there's no way in hell he's going to respect that. But apparently your psychological profiler is like he hates people that are not born in the United States. They need to physically be born here. That's, that's his definition of someone um, that is a good American is that their, their birthplace is the United States. Because he has, he's concerned about Elon Musk taking over NASA, this guy from South Africa, this super racist country who moved here during college that is basically sucking billions of dollars, I mean, literally billions of dollars out of the, like at least a, billion, a lot of money from the United States government. The United States government is funding this guy's private ventures. No one cares that, that like the US government is giving that much money to that guy who is a person that lives in a 20,000 square foot mansion that's very old with very few people and it has a lot of those mansions. Um, it's because it's one thing for me to be wanting to or it's one thing for me to inherit Jeffrey Epstein's estates and to fill the mansions with um, artists. And it's another thing for uh, someone to have that many mansions for himself and to live in a 20,000 square foot. That's my opinion. That's why I've said in the past, if you live in a giant house and like you have a guest quarters and you don't live there, flip the breaker. Like it doesn't need electricity. And that's one of the best things about Colorado is you can have a big house and, um, and I think because of the cold weather, it actually protects it, right? It keeps it safe. It's better to, have, to live in a cold climate if you have a massive house than a hot climate. But L.A. probably is a pretty good place, um, I would think, for not having air conditioning going. Like in some places, I feel like you can damage the indoors um, if you don't at least have a little air conditioning. All right, so I'm trying to figure this out here. Um, my Twitter has 13 followers. My views of every video, uh, we're, we're really getting a lot of them nowadays. I got 40 on my FBI interview video. 
So maybe I'm not crazy. That's the real question is like, do I have no people viewing it except the FBI? It, that's what it's all, that's what I've always kind of viewed is that my only, pe the only people I could convince to change their minds about being fascist are the FBI because who oversees the FBI? Like no one except for the Senate Judiciary Committee, right? Um, all right. I really need an armored car. And I don't think that that's like unreasonable. I think that's like mandatory. And I think this, I know this country depends on me. I know the FBI depends on me. Their budget depends on me. But then they're trying to ruin their own budget because they're not thinking like that. Because, because they're the type of guy that goes, well, the Japanese royal family is the same thing as having a cousin that is fighting for the loofah. For trust me, the, the, the criminal profiler for the FBI, trust me, they have a psychology degree from Harvard. They know all about you. Yeah, because they think that I'm stupid so they can classify me based on like some of my beliefs. But they don't even understand my beliefs because they're not smart enough. But they're from Harvard, so congratulations. I'm really glad you're, you're a fast learner. Some of us don't believe that the key to everything is fast learning. Like uh, what's crazy is I always think I'm stupid. But then I know, because I know I'm not like the fastest learner ever. But then I also know that this whole thing is dedicated to me. Like it's like in honor of me. Like my life is in honor of me. And it could have been in honor of anyone else. There are people behind the curtain. And it could have been in honor of them, but it's me. And it's because I am worthy, I, I am their equal. Like I, I, I and, and, and my understanding is people behind the curtain, this, these, these super brilliant, the smartest computer programmers of all time, not like some of them or none of them went to Harvard or to Ivy League schools. And they, or I don't know about that, but Actually, I really don't know about that. But what I'm saying is um, the, the main ones, the guys who wrote the, the kernel of this program, if you want to call some, the kernel is like the core of the program. Me and the other people that are, at, are the core, we are not, um, we're not going to be the, be the guy that wins Jeopardy. Um, but we're definitely, we're definitely smart. Um, I really don't think people know what it takes to be smart. What, what it takes to be actually smart is to be creative. Yeah. Um, apparently the FBI, they, they, they can't even understand um, the basics of, of who I am, even though they spied on me longer than anyone. Like, it's like, that's the most baffling thing. That they, it's like, how do you guys not understand me at this point? It's like, I feel like I understand you. Um, you think that the law overrides the Constitution. I, that is zero, there is zero doubt in my mind that you think the law overrides constitution.